What's up, YouTube? What's up, everybody? This is Dark Wolf Gaming here with another deck profile for you. And I'm bringing to you today my virtual world deck. All right, let's get into it. All right. First, we play, of course, three Lulu. Um, basically, what this card does, you can target one virtual card you control. Uh, send one card that's different type to the graveyard. Then special summon this card. Then you can add the third type. So if you're targeting a, a trap, you send a spell. And then you can add a monster. And vice versa. And of course, all these are once per turn. Um, then we play... Three, sorry if I butcher some of these names, Nyan Nyan. Um, if a level three monster is, is normal summon or a special summon to the field, and this card is in your grave, uh, you can special this card and it becomes a tuner. But it's banished uh, when it leaves the field. Uh, this banished card, um, if, if this banish, you can target one other monster card and then shuffle it back. So basically... If you have another banished virtual world or something else, um, you can just, you know, banish that card to, to recycle it. So well, it's pretty good. Um, next we play... Three GG. Um, this is effect is basically target one uh, virtual uh, card you control. Send one virtual card that's different from the uh, deck to the graveyard. Spell summon this card. And if you special summon it this way, you can add um, one of your virtual world monsters back to your ha uh, hand at the end phase. Uh, so basically, you're, you're normally going to add back Lulu uh, just because she's so good. Uh, next, we play... Three Lalaos. Um, basically, uh, target one virtual world card you control. Send one that's different from um, the target from the deck to the graveyard. Special summon this card. Then, if you special, um, you can special summon one virtual monster from the graveyard that wasn't like if you send a virtual monster from this card, you can't you know bring it back but if you have a different one in your graveyard you can just special summon it back it's pretty good uh, it's always good you know to bring back a monster just the link climb or synchro or you know whatever you have in mind that you know your play needs to get to and then we play three lily And then, basically, what Lili does is you target one virtual uh, card that you control, send one virtual card that's different to the grave, and special summon this card. Um, then you can send um, the third type um, to the graveyard. So if you target, uh, again, if you target a, a, a trap, you send the spell, special summon, then you can send a monster. Normally, you want to send um, Nyan Nyan. Just so that way, if you special summon or normal summon or a level three, you know, she's brought out instantly. Um, and then that, that's it for the uh, virtual world uh, monsters. Um, basically, you know, you run a straight three of each of them. It's basically mandatory. Um, you want to see these cards. Um, next, we play three gammas. And, of course, the one driver. Um, basically, really good in the format. Uh, be able to negate a, an effect. And not only negate it, get it off the field. If it's already on the field. Um, is really good. I I like that fact. Um, I don't usually run Gamma all that much. Um, but in this format, I really do think that it, it's it's strong. It's not like the, oh my god, end all, but it's it's really good. Um, and then I and then for the final hand trap, uh, we do play 
three feet, aka Ash Blossom. Uh, basically, eh, it's always good. Um, it's ability to be strong or super strong it depends on the meta but it's always a decent card to have i'm never sad to see this in my hand um yeah a lot of decks now these days can play through ash but if i can slow you down any way i can the to, to help prevent you from building your end board well your full end board at that then that's really, really good. All right. Um, and that's, that's it for the monsters and uh, hand traps. We're getting into the spells. Uh, first spell we play, we play three Kowloon. Um, it has basically two effects, but we're, we really only use it for the one. And that's uh, basically... you. Um, you can place any virtual roll, a spell or trap card from your deck to the field. So you can get the trap card out instantly and play it without setting it, nothing, which is really good. That's basically, you know, one of the main things you want to get is that trap card on the field as quick as possible. Um, so you can, you know, have that kind of protection and, uh, you know, just do your shenanigan uh, virtual world stuff. Um, then we play... We play three Queen Longs. Um, basically, it does uh, two things. If you actually play it um, and set it onto the field, you can banish one virtual card from the graveyard and target one monster face up on the field and negate its effects until the end of this turn. Um, even if this card leaves the field, so let, let's say if they try to, um, what's the word, uh, Cosmocyclone or Twin Twister or, or anything that can just get it off the field because it's a continuous uh, spell card, its effects still apply. So that is really, really huge. And then when if this card is in your graveyard, you can banish this card from the grave and add one virtual monster from your deck to your hand, and then you can send one card from your, your hand to the graveyard. So if you don't have Lulu, and let's say you had um, Yan Yan in hand, this will search out Lulu, you discard Yan Yan, and then um, even if you have to normal Lulu, Yan Yan's effect will go off to special itself. So, you know, really, really good. Um, then we play, if you got them, play them. Triple T's. We want our plays to go through. Um, we can, uh, you know, depending on the situation, if they ask you, you know, you could draw two cards still if you really wanted the uh, card draw. Um, if you're going second, you can take one of their problematic monsters, like a Dragoon, Savage, you know, anything that's going to be a pain in the butt, um, if they've already used their effects. Or, you can just rip a card from your opponent's hand. You know, you see their hand and be like, okay, oh, you got a Nibiru, let's get rid of that. Oh, you have an Ash, let's get rid of that. You got Ghost over Bell, you know. Oh, you have a Lulu in your hand, too, if you're playing the mirror match. Get rid of it. You know, it's really good. I, I like it. Um, if I had uh, a Forbidden Droplets, I'd probably take this out for those. Um, but I don't. Um, but it is on my to-do list to get those. Um, but for the time being, this is what I have. And it's still a great card. It's not as strong as it was, but it's still... I still think it's really good. Then we play one emergency telly. Um, basically, you know, special summon one level three or lower psychic monster, which is a couple of your uh, virtual cards, or you can get out the gamma, you know, which is good. You know, anything to help synchro or link climb or whatever you, you, you're going to do, you can do it. Then 
I play two full burial goods. We basically, if we don't see um, certain cards, this will extend our plays or even uh, get our plays going. Because uh, basically all you have to do is send the, uh, the spell card, uh, Queen Long, send that to the grave, banish that, you know, and then you just go off from there. Or if you want to try to get that trap card in, in the uh, graveyard, you could do that as well. Um, I play one call by the grave. I got hit to one on the ban list. Who knows? Um, but I in this deck, I, I, I need my plays to go off. Uh, so I play it at one. My one buddy always says when I play this deck, you always have called by the grave when he, as he's trying to stop me with an ash or um, ogre or valor. You know, it's huge. He thinks I cheat, but I don't cheat. It's just luck. Uh, so to keep the plays going is, is really, really good. Then we play two pot of desires. I'm always iffy on this card, but it is what it is. Sometimes you have those kind of hands that, you know, you really need to find one of the other cards you were looking for. Or, you know, just to extend a little further to build, your, you know, your full board, you know, which is really, really good. Um, but, but that's it for the, the all the spells that we play. And then for the final card we play, we play three traps. That's all we play in, in the deck, just three. And that's Chi Chi. Uh, basically, it has two effects. It depends um, where it is. If it's on the field, you know, this is what you want to get on the field as soon as possible uh, with uh when, uh, Kualun, um, basically, you know, you, you target one face-up card on the field, shuffle two of your banished virtual cards from the, uh, with different names back into the deck. So, you know, it just balances itself to where you can just re recycle your banished uh, cards back into the deck, which is really good. I really like it. Um, and then when you do that, you know, uh, just destroy that card. So any problematic card, wow, there it goes. Yeah, granted, um, depending on if it was like a monster and it had an effect, yeah, it still gets in its effect off, but it's off the field. So if they needed that card to link climb or extend or or even like in this deck, it, it needs to stick onto the field so you can target that to get the other stuff going. It's really good to get it off the field. And then if this is in your graveyard, you can banish this card from the grave and target one virtual uh, card monster you control. And you can either add or subtract its levels by three. Uh, so you can make one of your threes a six. Or you can make one of your sixes a three. Or you can make one of your uh, sixes a nine. Which, you know, it, the main time you want to really use that is to make it one of your sixes and a nine. So that way you can overlay until one of the problematic boss monsters of all time that people cry about. Um, probably going to get hit on the ban list pretty soon. Um, but people are already working on that uh, to keep this deck alive. Um, but other than that, 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 that's it for the main deck. That is 40 cards. Uh, as of right now, I would not change anything. I might add the um, one of the, I believe it's one of the new spells for the deck and the one um, new virtual world monster that we just got. Um, I've got to look into it a little bit more, um, but I might add those. But for right now, I'm pretty, you know, stoked with, the, with this deck. It performs well. Um, I picked this up because it interested me. And it's one of my favorite decks uh, playing. All right, now for the extra deck. We play, let me put it here. We play one Shishi, or Shenshen, 
I, like I said, I apologize for butchering some of these names. Um, basically, this effect for this monster is any card sent from the field to the grave is banished in st instead. So basically, you know, it's like a, co a Cosmos card to where, you know, if they need their materials or their monsters or their spells and traps like Eldridge, they need that stuff in the graveyard. This card literally banishes everything that's on the field that gets sent. So, stops them from playing. It, it really makes them try to get rid of this card uh, before making too many plays. Yes, there's a drawback. It does affect you. But 9 out of 10 times, you're overlaying over him. And then bringing him back after the fact or you know stuff like that um then we play we play one we play one zeus um basically you can overlay this card when an XYZ attacks. So any of your XYZ monsters are attack uh, after the battle phase, just overlay him. Um, quick effect, you can detach two materials, send all other cards from the field to the graveyard. So basically, if you don't like your opponent's field that they're starting to build, just detach two, send everything, you know, to the grave. They have to restart. Um, also, um, um, the, you can do once per turn. If another card or cards you control is uh, destroyed by battle or uh, opponent's card effects, uh, you could attach one card from either your hand, deck, or extra deck to this as material. So basically, if they let's say if they can't get rid of this, but they pop, let's say they pop your your trap card, right? His effect, you can you know, one from your hand, put it under it. One from the extra deck, under it. Nine out of ten times, you're just gonna take the top card and put it under it uh, if you use it. Um, but other than that, you know, not bad. And then we play. One, number 39, Utopia Beyond. Um, this is really good for uh, a OTK. Uh, basically, if this is XYC Summon, uh, the attack of all monsters your opponent controls becomes zero. Doesn't target um, anything. It just They just become zero. So, unless the, the, the monsters are unaffected by card effects, which... Um, I would have to ask for sure, you know, if this card can drop that card to zero, if not. But 9 out of 10 times, even if that one card, uh, one monster they have on the field doesn't lower, but they've already had, like, three other monsters on the field that do affect this, this card effects, it's huge. And... So, you know, basically, if you have your uh, board out, he's 3,000. If you have a Zeus, he's a 3,000. Um, a couple of the other cards are big guys. So, with big booties and stuff, you just whack them, kill them. It's over. Now, when we play one guy, guy a Dragon, the Thunder Charger, um, basically, you can... Uh, Use any XYZ uh, monster that's rank high, uh, rank five or six um, that you control as material, and all the materials under that card, you know, go under the, you know this card. Um, and if this card attacks a defense monster, inflict you know piercing damage. So if they're worried about 
you know, you OTK at them or, you know, trying to set up the fence so, you know, to where the, the monsters will just absorb the battle, your battle phase. You know, this this card just says, yeah, you're still going to take some damage at least. Um, then we play one Ravius, Ravenous Crocodragon. Um, basically, it gains 500 attack and defense for each card in your hand. So if you have a decent hand, say if you have four cards, that you know, that's 2,000. So he's at 3,000. You know, he gets big. Um, and then if this is Synchro Summon, draw cards equal to the non-tuners used as materials. Um, so in this deck, um, it's not like, you know, the Dino deck where you, you normally use three monsters, one tuner, one, uh, two non-tuners, you draw two cards. Um, in this deck, it's basically you're using a, usually a, a, a level three tuner with a non you know, six non-tuner, and you draw one card. Drawing cards is better than not drawing any cards, so just remember that. Also, um, quick effect. You can discard two cards and then target one card on the field and destroy it. So again, it's just another way to get rid of problematic cards on your opponent's field. Is it a highly cost i think to pop a card yeah i mean but if you're trying to clear the board to go for game then it's not as bad but if you can't game them sometimes just hold on to the cards you know there's other ways to get rid of the cards or shut them off um then we play one break sword uh phantom knight of the break sword um basically you can it has two effects but we only care about the one because uh, we don't run any fa phantom knights uh, you can detach one material from the card um, you control uh, target one card you control one of your opponent controls and, and just uh, destroy them both sorry um, other than that it's pretty you know again you're just built in, you know, building this deck to if you are forced to go second, ways to get cards off your opponent's field. Um, and it, it could be any card. It could be back row, monsters, uh, field zones, anything. So, which is good. I really like it. And then we play one star dust charge warrior. Yeah, basically, if we synchro into this. Draw a card. Again, draw power is good. Just like any way to get rid of cards on your opponent, side of the field is always good. Next we play one cloud castle. Again, basically has two effects, but we really care only for the one. Uh, basically, you just target another level 9 monster and your gray red special summon it. Uh, so basically, sometimes you'll have your Shinshin shin in the graveyard because your uh, the play you can detach from True King uh, and get it in there. If you have the full extent of your combo, you make this after effect, bring the Shinshin shin back, make another True King. Huge, really good. Next, we play. One Omega. Obviously, everybody should know what Omega does. Um, then we play one Vermilion Dragon mech. Um, basically, what it does is you banish one tuner from your hand, field, or grave. And then you can target one card in the field and destroy it. Again, you can kind of see where we're going with this deck. Or what this deck can do is just get rid of problematic cards. Stop your opponent from playing the best you can, and then just OTK on the next turn. Um, if this card is destroyed by card effect set and sent to the grave, you can add uh, one tuner of that Spanish back to your hand. So basically, if you, ma you make this, let's say if you have Gamma. Gamma is now dead in your hand. You banish it, effect, banish, 
or destroy, sorry. And then on their turn, if you can't kill them, they get rid of this by, you know, and destroy it. You add that gamma back. And then now if they cleared your field and they're still continuing to play, gamma's live again. Um, if, if if you played uh, the two drivers, which not anybody does, but I've seen one person do it, then it's clutch. It comes in clutch. Next we play Virtual World Phoenix Fan Fan. And, and basically what Fan Fan does is you detach two from this card. Uh, target one face-up card your opponent controls and one card in either graveyard and banish them. So, again, this time it doesn't destroy it, it just banishes. So, you can target their graveyard, their card on the, on the field, banish both. Um, so, that way, you know, slows them down. They don't get their plays off. If they really needed something going, you know, you stop them. Um, and then, if this card is destroyed by battle or card... Uh, or card effect by your, your opponent while this card is in the monster zone you can special summon two virtual world monsters with the same type same attribute from each other from the deck which is freaking phenomenal you know let's say he's the last one they kill right they don't know his effects and they don't ask him okay you know he's the last to go a thought bring two out now you're kind of set up for next turn when it, when it comes back to you which is great uh, next we play one virtual beast juju or gg whatever you want to call it uh, cannot be destroyed by battle or card effects while you have two or more monsters in your graveyard with the same type and attribute but different names um so basically it protects itself you can't be destroyed by battle or card effects um it can still be Kaiju and stuff like that. Uh, it still can be Send. But the likelihood of cards like that sometimes is okay. I mean, and he's a uh, 24 uh, monster. So he's got decent attack. So they really can't, you know, run him over too much. Unless they're, you know, 26 or higher, mon you know, monsters, which then it can't get rid of it anyways. You just take the damage. Um, then we play one Coral Dragon. And, of course, once per turn, you can discard one card. Tag out one card your opponent controls and destroy it. Again, you see the theme. You see the idea. You see the process. Believe in the process. And it just works. Yes, you know, it's, it can be stopped. But the point is, is if it doesn't, it's GG, man. GG. Um, and then if the, the Synchro Summon Monster, so if you use him for a Synchro, or just get him off the field, Link, anything, you draw a card. Again, second theme of the, of the deck, you want cards in your hand. And then... The guy that's probably going to get whacked sooner or later, we play two true king of all calamities. The card that says, good game. Game two. Literally shuts off your opponent's monster effects. They literally can't play. Well, okay. They can play. There's outs to this card. But normally if you have your end board... You have two of these, so you just chain both. You sh shotgun this one, they imperm them shotgun this one, so this one still revol it resolves. Or there's a cool, uh, cool little interaction with our trap card here. So, so on your turn, if this is on the field, right? You, sh you shotgun your calamities, or you, you can even wait, doesn't matter. Um, you detach, call whatever you want. Um, they go to try to stop this card. You chain Chi Chi, target calamities, pop it by, you know, you know, uh, returning two, two of your banished cards to your, to your deck, 
and pop this. So they're, they have no legal target. So Calamity's effect is still live. That's crazy. Uh, but other than that, guys, that's the deck profile. Hope you like it. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe uh, for future uh, other content of deck profiles. I got a bunch that I'm getting to. Um, also, if you like to see any um, test hands and combos and tutorials of how, you know, my process of the decks work, just, you know, put that in the comment below and, you know, I make sure to get that out to you guys. Uh, other than that, stay safe and God bless.